Hi, and welcome back to another uh, exciting rendition of the Asheville Wine Market video series. For those of you that have been in recently, uh, we encountered a small problem with one of our units, which has been fixed now. So I thought this, I'd take this opportunity to go back over some of the wonderful wines, first of all, that are in the system, and secondly, how, uh, what a value it is to be able to come in and, and do some little taste for one ounce. So I'll start with the whites. Uh, that was the unit that gave us a little trouble, but back in full force. We have uh, Anton Bauer, the best of. This is a wine that's in my glass, and it's a wine that was extremely popular about three, four years ago. Then uh, Tony decided that he didn't want to make it anymore, so uh, we pestered and pestered him, and it's back. So a beautiful blend of Grunewald Wiener, 40%, the other uh, split evenly between Welsh Riesling and Pinot Blanc. But if you're looking for a, a nice summer white, maybe you've had a little bit too much Pinot Grigio over the years and you're looking for a little bit of a switch, I can tell you this is a delicious uh, alternative. It's much more fragrant than Pinot Grigio. Uh, it has a little bit more body from the Pinot Blanc. But if you're looking for something that's clean, fresh, open, with uh, orchard fruit, flowers, a little hint of spice, this is, I think, right up your alley. $15.99, you can get a taste for a dollar. So if you haven't taken advantage of these machines, I think you really haven't done yourself justice. Mm. Perfect for summer fare, nice with uh, fowl delicious with seafood, great with Asian cuisine. What else do we have in here? We have a beautiful San Ferran, so a nice mineral driven Chardonnay from Burgundy. We have a beautiful dry rosé from Provence. And by the way, our rosé section is about as fleshed out as it can be, but that'll soon start to taper off. So if you're in the market for dry rosé, I would suggest that perhaps you scurry in quickly. Then we also have a beautiful J.J. Prüm, uh, one of the best producers in Germany, in the Mosel Valley. Kacha Himmelreich Auslese. Delicately sweet uh, Riesling doesn't get any better than J.J. Prüm. Let's take a look at uh, what we have in red wines. And uh, I'll show you how easy it is to use this machine. I've plugged my card in. So my choices are Tony Bauer, Wagram Cuvée. We've got a nice uh, Keren, one of the village wines from the Rhone. A stunning little Margot from the 2010 vintage, a young wine, but a chance to try it. And a beautiful, uh, dark, deep uh, Napa Cab, so ideal for the grilling season. So what should we do? Let's try the Margot, shall we? Press the button, get a little taste. This wine's a little bit more expensive, $2.20 for a taste, but you can see you can get quite a bit of wine in a glass for that. And here's a, a property that... Um, is basically of class growth uh, status. It was carved out from Palmer and Dorfart Vivan back in the 30s, and yet it sells for $40. So it's another Chateau Gloria, very similar kind of uh, scenario. It can never be a class growth, but were it purchased by Palmer, all that property would be again class growth property. We had the 2009, I can tell you, the 2010 is extraordinarily vibrant. We showed it in a tasting recently, but it's just popping out of the glass, a delicate little hint of uh, new French oak. But the uh, Cabernet, a little bit of Petit Verdot, this property has a lot of, a few rows of very old vine Petit Verdot, but if you're looking for a really nice Bordeaux from a perfect vintage to 2010 to lay down in the cellar for a while, this is it, and at $39.99 and get a 15% discount, hard to beat that. And taste it first, $2.20, which doesn't get any better than that. Beautifully fresh, vibrant, and like I said, somewhat youthful still with a nice uh, future ahead of it. Then let's take a look. We've got another uh, whole rack of uh, red wines to go here. Exit. All right, dispense. That's what I want to do. Okay, we have a beautiful aged Priorat 2006. I think I'm going to try that. A light. Medium-bodied Barbera de Asti from Michele Chiarlo. 
Barbera very rarely gets better than what Michele Chiarlo puts in the bottle. Another Due Beccheri from uh, Melini, their La Selvanella single block of Sangiovese. And arguably, along with Catena, the Acaval Ferrer, probably one of the best producers of Malbec in Argentina. So let's give this uh, Ponte La Figuera a quick taste. This is a 2006 Ovine Carinan Grenache. If you're going to have some barbecue pork, this is your ticket right here. Soft, gentle, beautiful, uh, complex fruit, nice sweetness from the Karan. Uh, this is outstanding. So, as you can see, it doesn't take long, just a quick little run through here, but uh, for a, sh a small outlay of money, you can have a very uh, informative session. So, come on in, try these, and we'll see you soon.